Mr. Speaker, one of the glaring omission, omissions in the environmental policy of this government is the lack of protection for groundwater when gravel is allowed to be mined. So a quick check uh, shows that current regulations and policies do not allow ministry staff to deny gravel applications that are detrimental to the environment. So my question is to the Minister of the Environment. Why hasn't the Minister taken steps to, to provide approval officers with the ability to outright deny gravel applications damaging to the environment. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And we know, Mr. Speaker, that when there's gravel applications that pertain to a water body, that the Department takes, undertakes specific reviews to ensure activities do not have adverse uh, impact to these areas. A Water Act approval is required, Mr. Speaker, and the Department looks at each case through that uh, lens. Member. Yes, you just made my point. They don't have the ability to deny it. Back to the same minister. Um, given that Alberta Environment currently has no adequate policy on graveling out alluvial aquifers or floodplains, and given that science is clear that alluvial aquifer protection is essential for aquatic ecosystem health and function, why has the minister stood by and allowed permanent destruction of floodplains and aquifers through gravel mining? Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and, and my point was with the last question, and my point is with this question, is the Water Act applies, approvals or not, are, are done through the ministry as they look through the lens of the Water Act. That's the whole point, Mr. Speaker, and so they can approve or not approve or approve with conditions. Member. No, not happening. Back to the same minister. Uh, this minister and the previous minister have committed to cumulative environmental impact assessment. So, just out of curiosity, when will Alberta Environment add up the impacts of gravel mining and be able to verify that thresholds and metrics have been established relating to gravel mining of alluvial aquifer water bodies and floodplains? Honourable Minister. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And we do look at cumulative effects management in this province, and the Department does look at that, Mr. Speaker, and, and they continue to look at it. So that's what happens in this area, Mr. Speaker. And with regards to the approvals, I'm going to say it again for the third time, the approvals are done through the Water Act. 